praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Almighty God, for another time in your presence. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus, for our daily journey. Speak, Lord, for your children here. Speak, Lord, enlighten the eyes of our understanding today and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our text today is taken from 1 Kings chapter 19. We'll be reading a bit from verse 1 up to verse 7. Praise God. We'll just dig into that quickly and says, And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and with her how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, so let the gods do to me, and more so, if I make thou, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. When he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. Verse 4. He said, But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. And came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals and a cruise of water at his head and he did eat and drink and laid him down again and the angel of the lord came again the second time and touched him and said arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee hallelujah so today we are talking quickly on what we have titled arise arise yes it's a new year yes yesterday we looked at the same elijah and him dealing with the prophets of ba he did not only put their god and this prophet to shame he slew every one of them so he's coming from a place of strength is coming from a place where God has displayed power in his life. But like every one of us, once we are in strength, the most likely next actions that will happen around us will be some very depressing situations, some things that will threaten, some things that will directly, you know, shake our resolve or wealth pedestal we have reached and this was what the prophet elijah a prophet of god faced you know he was faced with the challenge of death from jezebel so jezebel said i am going to destroy you hallelujah so fresh from defeating the first prophets of ba in a showdown at mount camel and proving that the Lord is God, Elijah still fell into despair. But you see, the despair he sent fell into was such that he was ready for God to take his life. His attitude of defeat led him to go into hiding by himself, and he essentially wanted God to end it all for him. Praise the Lord. But our God is a good God. He said in this word, he said, let the weak say I am strong. Hallelujah. So he refreshed, he refreshed Elijah. He refreshed Elijah. And Elijah was able to return to his work as a prophet. And I can tell you that his work after this point, his attitude changed. His action changed. Because it was renewed from the inside. It's the same with us. If we focus on the negative, 
we forget so quickly the wonderful and the miraculous that has happened around us. It's so easy when we fall into despair, when we fall into those pain points, those threatening, those life-threatening situations, or those things that actually greatly shake our faith. For us to go all negative, we forget where we are coming from. We forget, yes, maybe our tale is a tale of constant defeats here and there. But you see, just like God refreshed Elijah, we must understand that that God is there to do the same for us. Our behavior, when we turn to the negative, is critical. Praise the Lord. We will do things to hurt those around us. We will withdraw and consider leaving everybody. Hallelujah. See, but you see, if we look for the positive, in that situation in our life because every negative situation actually has a positive that it draws in that it brings that it behaves if only we can set aside the immediate the things that so easily stick to our mind and begin to find a way out of that negative situation you can start by affirming words you know words that are affirming they gradually turn you away from the negative. You can start also by relying on God's word. We talked about it earlier. He said the word of God is alive and active. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. And it comes with the promise of Christ that is able to deliver and to save even in thy situation. See, life challenges will be such that it will pull you in different directions, drag you in different directions. But we have a friend in Jesus, has seen some pains to bear, and he stands at the door of your knock, door of your heart knocking. Will you align covenants up with you? Call the numbers on the screen. I will be there to pray with you and walk with you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm.